The story of the Chinese thinker Lao Tzu. Once upon a time, there was an old man in a village. He was very poor, but even the king envied him. He owned a white horse so legendary that the king offered the old man almost all his treasure for this horse, but the man refused to sell it. This horse is not a horse for me, but a friend. Would a man sell his friend? He used to say. One morning they woke up and the horse was gone. The villagers gathered around the old man. You old fool! It was clear that they would not let you have the horse, that they would steal it. If you had sold it to the king, you would have lived like a prince for the rest of your life. Now you have neither money nor horse. You don't have to make a decision," said the old man. "Just say the horse has disappeared, for that is the truth. Beyond that, it is your interpretation and your judgment. Is it a misfortune or a coincidence that my horse has disappeared? We don't know yet, because this is just the beginning. No one knows what will happen next." The villagers laughed at the old man. Before fifteen days had passed, the horse suddenly returned one night. It turned out that it had not been stolen, but had traveled to the mountains by itself. On its way back, it brought with it twelve wild horses from the valley. When the villagers saw this, they gathered around and apologized to the old man. "Father," they said, "you were right. The disappearance of your horse was not a misfortune. It was like a blessing for you. Now you have a whole herd of horses." "You are judging hastily again." Said the old man, "Just say the horse is back. That is the only known fact. What will come after that, we don't know yet. This is only the beginning." This time, the villagers did not openly mock the old man, but in their hearts they thought, "This guy is really an idiot." Before a week had passed, the old man's only son, who was trying to tame the wild horses, fell off his horse and broke his leg. The son, who was the breadwinner of the house, now had to stay in bed for a long time. The villagers came to the old man again. "You were right again," they said. "Because of these horses, your only son will not be able to use his leg for a long time. But there is no one to take care of you. Now you will be even poorer and more miserable than before." The old man replied, "You have the disease of premature judgment. Don't be so hasty. My son has broken his leg. That is the truth. The rest is your decision." But how true is that? Life comes in little pieces. And you never know what will happen next. A few weeks later, the enemies attacked with a much larger army. In his last hope, the king called on all young men who could hold a rifle to enlist. The officials who came to the village drafted all the young men, except the old man's son, who had a broken leg. There was mourning in the village, for there was no way to win the war. Everyone knew that the young men would either die or be captured. The villagers came to the old man again. You were right again. They said, "Your son has a broken leg, but at least he is with you. But our son may never be able to return to the village. It turns out that your son's broken leg was not bad luck, but good luck. Feel free to judge hastily," the old man said. "But no one knows what will happen. There is only one known fact: my son is with me. Yours is in the army. But only God knows which of these is good luck and which is bad luck." Lao Tzu concluded his story with this advice. Do not make hasty judgments. Avoid looking at a small section of life and making a judgment about the whole. A decision is a state in which the mind pauses. Once you make a decision, the mind stops thinking and therefore does not evolve. Consequently, the mind keeps forcing people to make decisions. This is because being in a state of development is dangerous and makes you restless. But the journey never ends. When one path ends, a new one begins. When one door closes, another opens. One reaches a destination and realizes that a higher goal is just around the corner.